What's going down, AMD fam? There's tons of stuff that's circulating around what's going down with Windows 10, Windows 11, AMD drivers, and just the whole software war that we've kind of gotten into. Today we're going to be sizing up the optionals of the October versus September, which will be the 21.9.2 versus the 21.10.1. My name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we will be dissecting what AMD has given to us for patch notes, sizing up with some benchmarks on 3 d Mark, and seeing what's going to be happening for, well, compatibility issues that I've ran into for as far as myself and the computers and Windows 11 and some of the updates that Windows has given and Windows 10 that has been causing some, well, just really foobar situations to occur so leave a comment down below if you are definitely experiencing some stuff but let's go ahead and slide into the show shall we and if you are newer to the network hit that subscription button and slam that notification bell and let's go ahead and go into the news so radeon software has come a long way from where we got in. and you can see that now windows 11 is being tossed around tons and like i mentioned in the prelude of the very intro of this that there has some, been some issues some of the issues that I ran into personally myself was where Windows completely did not even recognize one of the video cards luckily AMD was one of the favorable cards it always recognized but in the last like literal uh, the beginning of this month's update for Windows which was on the 2nd of October I noticed the issue was the install so once I reverted back and uninstalled it, it fixed it and it recognized the NVIDIA card. So if you happen to have an NVIDIA card and you're watching this AMD update and you ran into a detection issue, roll back. Or if you're experiencing some crazy stuff with the Adrenaline software, it might be recommended to roll your Windows update back, at least for just one, to see what happens while they iron stuff out with compatibility. But Far Cry 6 makes the list as we get past some of the Windows 11 issues in the commentary. I hope to see some people leave some comments and see what their feelings are and what their experiences are. Your, is your system ready? Out of three of the uh, computer setups that I have, only one is ready, which is this station that I'm recording on right now with my lovely 32 core Red Ripper. So luckily I will hopefully have an option to have a Windows 10 and a Windows 11 and seeing the difference later on in the near future, but not right now. It's like, it seems like it's very just unstable <laughs> to be bleak, but they are bl uh, boasting some great rapport for as far as increasements on performance. You can see Far Cry 6 makes all the list from 10 to 13%, depending on if you're running between 1080p and the ultra settings, down to some of the 4K settings, as well as the 2K settings, which was an other optionable point where people were asking in the last one, which most game developers nowadays are focusing on 2K and 4K as 1080p has already been yesterday's standard and they know where to dial it in, so they can kind of leave it on the back burner where most people have been adopting more into their technology to expect a little more clarity. But Battlefield 2042 in the open beta, you have the Blade Point and Pug G with the DirectX 12 and its increasement of 11%. As you can see what they tested out in the 4K Ultra settings inside of the 16 gigabyte of the Radeon 68 XT. So. Fun stuff for as far as there, but what are the fixes that we can see? Horizon Zero Dawn makes the list for an extended period for leaving a timeout where a crash would occur on the 6700 series. As well as you can see that the driver timeout and experiencing while playing games and streaming simultaneously on the Radeon graphics card such as a 500 series. Some of the users may experience some of the idle memory and the clock speeds and the values where two or more monitors can be an issue. And I have seen that sometimes with doing a DDU, which I'll have a video linked at the very end of this video to check out if you have not getting clean installs. And then, of course, trying to also make sure that your network is disconnected, your internet, because some of these tricky Windows updates will try to install um, 
not the clean install and it, it just makes it a sticky situation but I have a video that details that in the very end so you can check that out if you like for as far as the trimer timeouts for as far in the medium which I, it's a game I've been wanting to check out it seemed very interesting for as far as some gameplay and a change of pace and you can see that the Radeon graphics card of the 6700 was one of the ones that were fixed on that GP load for as far as the Radeon software may incorrectly display the higher than accurate GPU power consumption values while the Wreckfest inside of Arma 3. You can see that the image inside of the corruption may experience inside of the view of the foliage. Known issues they have with OBS, which has been discussed last time, were some of the issues in the root background. AMD Ra Radeon software, where it's crashing in the unresponsiveness in the DirectX 11 with PUBG inside of that extended mode. And then you have the enhanced sync with the black screens coming around there. With anyone experiencing this, you can also have that temporary by disabling that sync. That's a workaround. For as far as the performance inside the logging and the intermediate reports and the higher than re normal memory clock, which seems to be something that will always plague AMD. Uh, but moving on, same workaround for as far as the AMD link where you just want to use the ABC and then a ton of footnotes. So fun stuff, but you know, I have this link down below if you want to see that. This is the cooler part of the show, folks, which I enjoy the best because we would like to lay the rest is what is the sizable better optional well if you look to the right you'll see the new and if you look to the left you'll see the old so 21.9.2 versus the 21.10.1 so now when you're looking at the points for the graphics it's nothing super crazy this is 4k and time spy extreme for direct x12 and I say it's probably almost just a damn near tie, but if you're trying to debate which one would be a little bit giving you the edge with the operable system that I have, it would be the older driver. But so far, stability went really well with the install on this one, so I can't complain. So far, this newer driver for October seems pretty decent. But if you're running into issues with installs or any other things, leave a comment down below. See what I can do to help out, or just see what the community has to say to see if what they can help as well. Now you can see the repeat comes down to play for as far as what will perform a little bit better and optimal is the older driver with the graphics score. But you can see a consistency for as far as what we can have for maybe the Windows drivers playing a bad part and them having to update. So a lot of this can change. Maybe the next time when we size up a 21.10.2 we will see a higher score than the last one that we are showcasing today. It just goes to show that sometimes just the ecosystems that these are built on, especially right now with the time and the changeover of an adoptable series of technology syncing with software, can become an issue as we're running into new unexplored territories. It's fun. It's exciting. This means that we are pushing technology to a new edge and defining it and refining it. So let's move on past this from the 1080p department of DirectX 12 to the DirectX 11. So let's go ahead and slide over to Fire Strike. Now, this is where you see the turnaround for as far as a little bit of the points of what it would be debatable to say that the newer driver is favorable to DirectX 11. As you can see that the physics score is beaten by literally a point, and you can see that the combined score, well, definitely does get a little trumped by 10 points, but nothing crazy. Let's be real here. It has nothing to do with anything. The graphics score, which you can see right over there, comes into a little bit of an edge with 14 points over. So the newer driver takes the cake and, and like Portal, unfortunately, this one ends with actually getting a little bit of icing, but the cake's still high. Moving on past that situation, let's see what just 1080p does with Fire Stripe Extreme. And here you can see that what happens right over here is a great scenario. The continuation of it growing and it's showing that it is favoring DirectX 11. But let's see what just the normal bread and butter of Fire Strike shows. As you can see here with 1080p, it takes a step back 
but stability could come into play in a lot of these fixes that they showed inside of the AMD information of their link that's down below. You can check out if you need a reference again. So, end of the day, what does this mean? It means that it favors both sides, newer and older driver. Depending on if you install this and you run into issues, re-rolling back DDU and installing the 20... 1.9.2 probably will be your best option with what Windows Playground has given us until they do a bigger ecosystem fix to fix what technically they screwed up. Windows did it again. Thank goodness you're not like Nvidia and you have to worry about toggling on and off of hardware accelerator and you know AMD was just like you know we'll just focus on making it okay. But that's what I'm here to see, like, what ends up happening from patch note to patch note. So if you are newer to the network, I recommend subscribing, hitting the notification bell for future updates. And if you subscribe today, it's absolutely free and helps me out as a creator. But I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and hopefully you can get a hold of your favorite GPUs. Leave a comment down below to see what you have on your wish list to see. What is the community fave for graphics cards out there if they could just get it for a normal MSRP? So, I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy. And for this newer one, I'd just like to say it seems decent enough to install. It's just if you are a having an issue, uh, rewind and see what you have. Pick the links up below and up on top in order to be able to experience some fixes or just some kickbacks and videos what YouTube has to show. Later everyone, I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.